Ziggy Bombs has this cool new storefront right here on Franklin Street in Worcester. But there's an interesting story before they ever got here. They started out just doing pop-ups at different restaurants where they were serving these steak and cheese sandwiches. And these things were a hit. I mean, immediately. Then they rolled out a food truck and the word started to spread. Steak and cheese lovers from across New England were searching for the Ziggy Bombs truck. <sighs> The owner of the place, Mike, well, everyone calls him Ziggy. Is those two OGs? He finally said, listen, I need my own shop. And he decided to go big or go home. And let me tell you, I never want to go home. I want to eat these steak and cheese sandwiches every day. It's a specialty steak and cheese sandwich shop. The name is like a twist off of Steak Bomb. And then my nickname, Ziggy, put it together, came up with Ziggy Bombs. And you got to make sure it's loaded with the oil, the onions, the peppers, and of course, loaded with cheese. You got to make sure it's done right. All of our steaks always have onions and peppers. We do not take them out, we don't substitute anything. We already have a lot of people coming from Maine, Vermont, we have people coming from everywhere already. Their traditional is called the OG, the original gangster. This is the steak and cheese you remember as a kid. Basic, OG, it's good. Of course, Philly is famous for their cheese steak, so they do their version here. It is called the Philly. Similar to the OG, but this baby has the cheddar cheese sauce on it. I can dig it, but it's the toppings and the sauces and the flavor combinations that really make Ziggy Bomb stand out. I'm telling you, they look ridiculous and they taste ridiculously good. The number one seller on the menu here, believe it or not, is a steak and cheese sub inspired by your favorite Chinese appetizers. Behold the poo poo platter steak and cheese. So what goes on this thing? You got your shaved steak and your onions and your peppers and your cheese, but then of course come the Chinese style chicken fingers, boneless spare ribs, crab rangoon, and the whole thing is topped with duck sauce. Let's do this. I'm a little nervous, but I'm also excited. I feel like my whole life has led up to this moment. <laughs> Oh, you got the cream cheese coming from the crab rangoons, you got the duck sauce, it brings it all together. Meaty, crunchy, sweet. There's a lot happening with this sandwich. All the flavors really come together. They're surprised when they get it. Really, a whole Chinese platter on top of a steak and cheese. I'm having flashbacks to the Kowloon. You can't go anywhere else and get a poo-poo on a steak and cheese. I don't know if I would eat this every day or every week, but you have to eat this once in your lifetime. This is a once in a lifetime sandwich, folks. There's like a dozen signature steak and cheese sandwiches here. Here's one that's interesting. It's the Zig Mac. It's definitely the twist on the Big Mac. People like it a lot more than a Big Mac, honestly. Cheese, lettuce, tomato, pickle. You got Thousand Island dressing substituting for that special sauce. Absolutely delicious sandwich, reminiscent somewhat of a Big Mac, but bigger and better. We definitely got the critics that say, oh, lettuce and tomato and everything don't belong on a steak and cheese, and we just tell them go to a pizza shop then. <laughs> Personally, I think the best sub on the menu is known as the Boom Boom. And this thing definitely is booming. This has everything I love. You got your shaved steak, of course, the sauteed peppers and onions and the American cheese. Then on top, a huge pile of super thin hand battered onion strings and the whole thing is drenched in their signature Boom Boom sauce. I like to stand up when I have a Ziggy Bomb. You gotta stand up, you gotta stick your butt out a little bit, come forward, arms out to the side, and then you go in. A Ziggy Bomb, you don't eat from the side. Ziggy Bombs, you eat from the top. The steak is tender and just absolutely perfectly seasoned. The onion rings add that extra layer of crispiness and sweetness. And the Boom Boom sauce, baby. I don't know what's in the Boom Boom sauce. Maybe there's some sriracha. Maybe there's something sweet. Maybe there's ketchup. Whatever it is, I want to bathe in the Boom Boom sauce. This is a great sub. I say come for the poo poo, stay for the Boom Boom. Trademark on that. Now listen, eating massive amounts of steak and cheese subs can make you thirsty. Basically, your only beverage option are Ziggy Pops, their own brand of Ziggy sodas. All kinds of great flavors, strawberry, grape, orange, my personal favorite, lemon lime. Nothing goes better with a steak and cheese poo-poo platter sub than a lemon lime Ziggy Pop. That's a sentence I never thought I would say in my entire life. The space itself is really cool. The walls are all filled with these old black and white photos of old Worcester restaurants, and Ziggy is everywhere you look. And here's the thing, some of their signature subs start to approach almost $20, which you say to yourself, that might be a lot of money for a sandwich. No, this ain't a sandwich, this is a Ziggy bomb. It's a full gourmet meal in your hands, and it is something I guarantee you will think, I got my money's worth, and you will only get it right here at Ziggy Bombs.